Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye! When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. 
There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step -step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Hi everyone, this is Rosa. Today we'll be doing the 15 questions you should know in Spanish. So let's begin. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? Which is, how are you? ¿Cómo estáis? Are you fine? <laughs> So, for example, when you meet a friend, you would say, Hola, ¿cómo estás? I think you can use it with almost everyone. Like, it's not like super informal or anything, so... ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? Mi nombre es Rosa. My name is Rosa. What's your name? Tell me. Are you Bob? <laughs> or maybe... Christine? ¿Cuál es tu número de teléfono? What's your phone number? The next question is, ¿cuál es tu número de teléfono? What's your telephone number? My telephone number is 621. In Spain, the telephone code, my country code is 34. ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? When is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? When is your birthday? So, mi cumpleaños es el 21 de noviembre. My birthday is the 21st of November. When is yours? Tell me. <laughs> I'm going to guess when your birthday is, so... Maybe the 2nd of May? ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta? What type of music do you like? ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta? What type of music do you like? So, do you like pop? Rock? Hip hop? Uh, R&B? Uh, reggae? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. ¿De dónde eres? Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Where are you from? Yo soy de España. And so tell me where you're from. Maybe you're from Italy or from the United States. ¿Dónde aprendiste español? Where did you learn Spanish? ¿Dónde aprendiste español? Where did you learn Spanish? I learned Spanish at home. Where did you learn it? <laughs> maybe at a class or with these videos, maybe. ¿Dónde está el baño? Where is the bathroom? ¿Dónde está el baño? Uh, where is the toilet? So, for example, when you are at the restaurant and you want to go to the toilet, you can ask the waiter, ¿Dónde está el baño? And um, yeah, he will tell you. ¿Dónde trabajas? Where do you work? The next question is, ¿Dónde trabajas? Which is, where do you work? Do you work in a company? Or maybe you are a freelancer? For example, I don't know, if you are at a party and you meet someone, ¿Dónde trabajas? ¿Cuáles son tus aficiones? What are your hobbies? ¿Cuáles son tus aficiones? Which is, what are your hobbies? If you like traveling, reading, taking photos, drawing, watching films, cooking. <laughs> ¿Durante cuánto tiempo has estudiado español? How long have you been studying Spanish? The next question is, ¿Durante cuánto tiempo has estudiado español? For how long have you been studying Spanish? It's a long process, but it would be worth it. Yeah. ¿Has estado en España? Have you been to Spain? So the next question is, ¿Has estado en España? Have you been to Spain? And if so, where have you been to? Don't forget to go to the south of Spain. It's very beautiful. <laughs> ¿Qué es esto? What's this? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? So yeah, you can just point at something and ask another person. ¿Qué es esto? 
¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Can you guess? <risa> ¿Qué has dicho? What did you say? ¿Qué has dicho? Which is, what did you say? When you didn't understand well what another person said, you can tell them, ¿qué has dicho? ¿Te gusta la comida española? Do you like Spanish food? ¿Te gusta la comida española? Do you like Spanish food? So, do you like Spanish omelets? Or what else can you like? Do you like gazpacho? So, yeah, this is the end of today's 15 questions you should know in Spanish. So I hope it was useful for you. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Please tell me everything about you. <laughs> Where do you? Hi everyone, I'm Rosa and today we'll be doing the 10 phrases you always want to hear in Spanish. So let's begin. El presupuesto es ilimitado. The budget is unlimited. For example, if you are at a fancy restaurant and the other person tells you the budget is unlimited. El presupuesto es ilimitado. You can eat all you want. Yay! Eres una excelente cocinera. You are an excellent cook. It always feels nice to know that you can do like tasty things. Habrá un extra al final de mes, which means there will be a bonus at the end of the month. Sounds great! <laughs> Te echo de menos. I miss you. I haven't met you, but I miss you already. <laughs> Te traje algo especial. I brought you something special. What could it be? Ta -tum, ta -tum. Te ves muy bien hoy. You look great today. You look great today. All of you. <laughs> yes, you! Tenías razón. You were right. It always feels good to be right. Yeah. Y tú ganas, which means, and you win. And what is it that I win? <laughs> Te quiero, which means, I love you. Well, in my case, I love the viewers that leave me nice comments. Eres tan inteligente, which is, you are so smart. This is the end of today's 10 phrases you always want to hear in Spanish. Uh, I hope you like them and um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Eres una persona creativa. You are a creative person. One of the compliments I like to hear the most. Oh no, please. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Rosa. Today we'll be doing 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. So let's begin. El español es divertido y fácil de aprender. Spanish is fun and easy to learn. El español es divertido y fácil de aprender. Spanish is fun and easy to learn. I think the pronunciation is very easy in Spanish. Yeah. Aparte de saber español, también puedo hablar algunos otros idiomas. Apart from knowing Spanish, I can speak a few other languages as well. Aparte de saber español, también puedo hablar algunos otros idiomas. Apart from knowing Spanish, I can speak a few other languages as well. Tell me which other languages you can speak. I can speak English, um, yeah, a bit of Japanese and French, but yeah, I have to study more. Estoy aprendiendo español por mí mismo. I'm learning Spanish all by myself. Estoy aprendiendo español por mí mismo. I'm learning Spanish all by myself. So good for you. <laughs> like I know it's hard, but if you're I don't know, if you are constant and you do something every day, I think you can also like learn languages by yourself. Like today there are so many resources on the internet. And... Hablaré español como un nativo en tres años. I'll speak Spanish like a native speaker in three years. Hablaré español como un nativo en tres años. I'll speak Spanish like a native speaker in three years. Oh, good luck! <laughs> He estado aprendiendo español por diez años. I've been learning Spanish for 10 years. He estado aprendiendo español por 10 años. I've been learning Spanish for 10 years. Yeah, I might have been studying English for longer than that. Me tomó solo un año para hablar fluidamente. It took me only one year to become fluent. Me tomó solo un año para hablar fluidamente. It took me only one year to become fluent. Wow. <laughs> I admire you so much. <laughs> Gracias, pero en realidad no soy un hablante nativo. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Gracias, pero en realidad no soy un hablante nativo. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> Puedo memorizar alrededor de 50 palabras nuevas en español al día. I can memorize around 50 new Spanish words a day. 
puedo memorizar alrededor de 50 palabras nuevas en español al día. I can memorize around 50 new Spanish words a day. Wow, it's important to be constant. Yeah, just be sure to revise like the words you have studied before so you don't forget. Puedo ver películas en español sin subtítulos. I can watch Spanish movies without subtitles. Puedo ver películas en español sin subtítulos. I can watch Spanish movies without subtitles. I still use subtitles for English. Sé cómo conjugar todos los verbos irregulares. I know how to conjugate all the irregular verbs. Sé cómo conjugar todos los verbos irregulares. I know how to conjugate all the irregular verbs. Yeah, there are a lot of them, so that would be great if you knew how to did all of them right. There might even be Spanish people who cannot do that properly in some cases, so... This is the end of today's 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. So I hope you get the chance to use them. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rosa and this is Spanish Top Words. And today we'll be doing top 20 travel phrases you should know. ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? How much is this? ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? How much is this? You can also say, ¿Cuánto vale? ¿Hablas inglés? Do you speak English? ¿Hablas inglés? Do you speak English? In most cases, the answer to that might not be that positive, but yeah, you can try. Mm. ¿Me puedo probar esto? Can I try this on? ¿Me puedo probar esto? Can I try this on? So if you enter a clothing store and there's something you like, you can ask the shopping assistant. ¿Me puedo probar esto? ¿Tienes sitio para esta noche? Do you have any vacancies tonight? ¿Tienes sitio para esta noche? Do you have any vacancies tonight? Maybe try to not get to the point in which you have to ask this and book your room beforehand. No. <laughs> ¿Tienes alguna recomendación? Do you have any recommendations? ¿Tienes alguna recomendación? Do you have any recommendations? Like if you travel to Spain, you have to go to Granada. <laughs> Cannot miss it. Most beautiful city in the world. Me gustaría 10 de estos. I'd like 10 of these. Me gustaría 10 de estos. I'd like 10 of these. So if you want to buy souvenirs for all your friends and you don't really w want to like think a lot, you just can find some, I don't know, keychain or postcard. Um, say, me gustaría 10 de estos. I would like 10 of these. And it'll be over because it's pretty stressful to find souvenirs for everyone. <laughs> Me gustaría este. I'd like this. Me gustaría este. I'd like this. So if you are talking to the shopping assistant and maybe the thing you want is a bit further away, like you can point at it and say, me gustaría este. Tengo una reserva. I have a reservation. Tengo una reserva. I have a reservation. So if you really want to go to a restaurant, Try to like research a little bit and see if that place is normally full so that you can like make a reservation beforehand. ¿Es este el autobús correcto para el aeropuerto? Is this the right bus for the airport? ¿Es este el autobús correcto para el aeropuerto? Is this the right bus for the airport? Normally going by taxi to the airport is pretty expensive, so you want to check the buses. ¿Es gratis el wifi? Is the Wi-Fi free? ¿Es gratis el wifi? Is the Wi-Fi free? The Spanish people have this tendency of saying wifi even in English because we are so used to call it that way in Spanish. So if uh, someone person 
is talking to you and say something about Wi-Fi, you know, they mean Wi-Fi. ¿Me podría dar un descuento? Could you give me a discount? ¿Me podría dar un descuento? Could you give me a discount? Um, so it's not that common in Spain to ask for a discount in a store. So yeah, maybe if you go to an outdoors market or to these stalls near the beach, uh, you can ask for a discount. ¿Me podría encontrar una habitación para no fumadores? Could you find me a non-smoking room? ¿Me podría encontrar una habitación para no fumadores? Could you find me a non-smoking room? So about smoking, like um, in Spain is forbidden to smoke inside places. And I find it so funny that in Japan is the opposite, like you cannot smoke outside, but you can smoke in places. I just find it kind of weird. How is it in your country? <laughs> ¿Podría sacarme una foto, por favor? Could you take a picture of me, please? ¿Podría sacarme una foto, por favor? Could you take a picture of me, please? I have the impression that lately, with all these selfie sticks and things, like people are not asking that anymore. But before, like, it was really common to get us that. ¿Podría tener la cuenta? Could I have the check? ¿Podría tener la cuenta? Could I have the check? Uh, and also you can just say la cuenta, por favor. It's the same thing. ¿Tienen algún plato vegetariano? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? ¿Tienen algún plato vegetariano? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? So before it wasn't that common, but nowadays there are a lot of vegetarian and vegan places opening in Spain, so it's getting easier. And also like in normal places, they now have like options for vegetarian people, so yeah, getting easier. Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa? Excuse me, what's the fare? Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa? Excuse me, what's the fare? Some museums and monuments uh, sometimes have like a special fare for students, so if you are one, you can maybe ask, Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa para estudiantes? ¿Aceptáis tarjeta de crédito? Do you take credit cards? ¿Aceptáis tarjeta de crédito? Do you take credit cards? Mm, so in most shops in Spain, uh, you can pay by car and there's no problem. But maybe if you go to a small town, go to a small shop, like you might have to pay in cash. So yeah, in these cases, like you can ask this question. ¿Podría darme un mapa? Could I get a map? ¿Podría darme un mapa? Could I get a map? I'm so thankful about Google Maps because I have no sense of direction and even if I have a map, like for me, it's so difficult to like understand it and follow it. So yeah, I'm happy there's technology now. <laughs> ¿Podríamos tener el menú, por favor? Could we have the menu, please? ¿Podríamos tener el menú, por favor? Could we have the menu, please? Yeah, if you go to a restaurant, you can ask this question and they'll bring you the menu. Esto no es lo que pedí. This isn't what I ordered. Esto no es lo que pedí. This isn't what I ordered. Yeah, normally if you get something different from what you ordered and you say this politely, like they will replace it for you. Um, so no problem. Perdona, sorry, but this is not what I ordered. ¿Te importaría cambiarlo? Could you mind to change it? So this is the end. Today we did 20 travel phrases you should know. Tell me what would you like to see if you travel to Spain? Don't forget to check out SpanishPod101.com and don't forget to subscribe. Bye, hasta pronto. Hi everyone, this is Rosa. Today we'll be doing 10 phrases to help you in an emergency. Let's go. Llama a la policía, por favor. 
Call the police, please. Llama a la policía, por favor. Call the police, please. So if you're in Spain and you need to call the police, eh, you need to dial 091. ¿Tienes fiebre? Do you have a fever? ¿Tienes fiebre? Do you have a fever? Are you okay? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> Perdí mi pasaporte. I lost my passport. Perdí mi pasaporte. I lost my passport. So, yeah, if you lose your passport, eh, go to your em embassy, I guess. Um, I hope they will take care of you very soon. Creo que comí algo malo. I think I ate something bad. Creo que comí algo malo. I think I ate something bad. So, I've never tried it, but I heard for I heard from a friend that having some charcoal pills really helps when you have eaten something bad. Necesito un médico. I need a doctor. Necesito un médico. I need a doctor. So, if you have any health Emergency, you can call 061. No puedo encontrar el camino de vuelta a mi hotel. I can't find the way back to my hotel. No puedo encontrar el camino de vuelta a mi hotel. I can't find the way back to my hotel. Like before, I guess, it wasn't that uncommon to be lost, but now that we have like mobile internet everywhere and Google Maps and everything, I think that helped a lot, but still. ¿Hay alguna farmacia cerca? Is there a pharmacy nearby? ¿Hay alguna farmacia cerca? Is there a pharmacy nearby? In Spain, you can easily spot the pharmacies because they have like a big uh, green cross sign on the side, so they are really easy to spot. ¿Me puedes ayudar? Can you help me? ¿Me puedes ayudar? Can you help me? I think in general, Spanish people are very friendly, so I'm sure if you are lost or need something, like you can ask them. Um, even though we don't speak English super well, I think we'll, we'll try to help you. <laughs> Necesito una ambulancia. I need an ambulance. Necesito una ambulancia. I need an ambulance. So if you need an ambulance, call 061. ¿Podría usar tu teléfono? Could I use your phone? ¿Podría usar tu teléfono? Could I use your phone? <laughs> and this is the end of today's 10 phrases to help you in an emergency. Uh, have you ever had an emergency in a foreign country? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out SpanishPod101.com. Hasta luego! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.